Right, uh, this is a message to my subscribers. I don't think I'll keep this video posted up for very long. After a couple of weeks it might become an embarrassment. Right, I have four, count them, four things to say to you. I'll probably ramble for a bit and forget something, but here goes anyway. Right, the first thing is, lots of people have complained that I don't make uh, more videos. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, you may notice that I work in splurges. I'll make several and then none for maybe a couple of months and then several, uh, just the way things are. Uh, but I take it as a compliment that people complain that I don't make more videos because that suggests that they miss my videos coming out, which, which is nice. Okay, so that's a good thing. Thank you very much. I have over 5,000 subscribers now, which is about 5,000 more than I was ever expecting. So uh, thank you very much for subscribing and spread the word. All right, the second thing is that people complain about the fact that I have the settings on my videos such that you need my approval to post comments up on my uh, my videos. Uh, there are a number of reasons for this. Um, I do approve, I would say, 99% uh, of comments. Very few uh, get rejected, and there are four main reasons uh, that they get rejected. One, it's complete gobbledygook. I've no idea what the person is saying. Is English their first language? Perhaps a toddler fell on the keyboard. I don't know what happened. I don't approve those. Uh, second, Okay, I let the odd rude word through. I don't, I don't, don't like to think that I'm too prudish, but if you've written little more than a stream of Anglo-Saxon invective vitriol, then I tend not to approve those. Um, the third thing is that I don't like people placing adverts. Oh, why don't you go to this website, an advert for a website, website that's completely irrelevant to my video? I don't approve those. Um, the most common by far, however, is people who flame other commenters. I want people to feel that they can comment on my videos without being flamed. You could be critical of my video, fine. But if you see someone critical of my video and you want to wade in on my side, fine, but be nice about it. Don't just insult the other person who commented on my video. I want it to be a forum for civilized debate. Um, so those are the four uh, the reasons that I don't approve stuff. But there's another much bigger reason that I have my settings as I do. And that is that I get a little email every time someone comments on one of my uh, videos and then I read every single comment on every single one of my videos, I get about 30 a day, and I will very often reply to those comments. Now, you won't get many replies if I'm not reading them, and no way am I gonna check through all the hundreds of videos I've made to see on the off chance that there's an interesting comment for me to reply to. I'm not gonna do that, but if I get notification, which I do because I have to approve everything, then get loads of replies. So I hope you prefer that. Um, right, so uh, next thing, third thing was, oh yes, I asked people about splitting the channel. Should I have different channels for the different topics? And the overwhelming response was silence, I suppose. Most people didn't respond, but of those who responded, the overwhelming uh, view was that I should keep one channel. I think it's pretty obvious, really. If something's called a point about Spears, it's very unlikely to be about dancing. Now, some people have said, hey, you know, I joined this, I, I joined this, subscribe to this channel because I want to know about axes. This is, this is, I thought this was a channel about axes and the, the stuff about dancing, that's girl stuff. Come on, more videos about axes, none of this girl. Well, tough, I, you know, I have more than one string to my bow and you know, read the title. Um, so now I come to the fourth thing. This is far and away the most exciting thing. It's largely an explanation for why I haven't been making many videos lately. It's been taking up a lot of my time. It's my forthcoming big, video production for which I've bought these new lights. Um, it's called The Adventures of Stoke Mandeville, Astronaut and Gentleman, a tale of science and heroism for all the family except ladies. And uh, it's my attempt to make something like a feature film for a budget of not many hundreds of pounds. I'm going to be shooting it against a green screen like this. I've got other bigger green screens and I'm getting green screen paint and I'll have also some magenta screens and some blue screens for extra special effects. I'll be doing all the post prod myself, probably, and uh, I'm right now in the business of casting, which is not going brilliantly well. So if you want to be in a video and you don't mind working for next to nothing and you're in the Newcastle area, get in touch. Um, it's a steampunk comedy. Uh, I wrote it with my colleague Fraser Charlton about 20 years ago. Uh, we wrote it originally as a radio show and we sent it into the BBC. They weren't interested. Steampunk? What's that? Nobody had heard of it. Um, in fact, I don't think we'd heard of the term steampunk back then. In fact, I'm not even sure it had been coined. Anyway, um, it does involve the wearing of rather a lot of hats, ether specs, and breathing masks. It's set in a parallel universe, largely, and uh, in that, the entire world has joined the British Empire. In fact, the entire solar system has joined the British Empire apart from France. And our hero, Stoke Mandeville, nah, he's after the dastardly French agents who are constantly trying to bring the empire down. So, if you want to uh, 
see this video, stay subscribed to my channel. It should be arriving on your screens in a few months, I hope, all going well. I don't know how long post-production is going to take. Um, and uh, I'll do my best to make it very funny. Um, so there you go. So there's an update on this channel and what's going to be coming. I might in, do some other videos as well. In fact, I might do one now I've got the lights out. Um, but don't be expecting too much because this is a really, really big project. Okay, so brace yourselves.